Hi, this is Ian with Dobie's Remodeling. Today I'd like to talk to you about decks and patios. When thinking about the decks and patios, one should consider in the patio furniture or whatever they're pl planning to use on the deck. What is your general purpose? What size deck do you need? What size patio do you need? Is the deck on the ground? What are the cost effectiveness versus having a deck or having just a concrete slab or a tiled patio? There's many different things that you should consider especially if you're up high, is it second, third story? What size do you need? What kind of railings do you want? You, many different ways you can have railings, whether they're just two by two pickets up to the wrought iron pickets that can be installed. What is the look that you're going for? What is the look of the railings that you're going for? The key thing is, is you have to make sure that you have a budget, call your contractor, let him give you an estimated price on what size that you would want and make sure your contractor has licensed and insured. There's too many people that have been hurt, whether it be on a second, third story deck, all the way down to what if just the concrete in the patio cracks, somebody twists their ankles, something to that effect. It's always good to hire a contractor. There's so many different codes from state to state that you might build something yourself, come out there, what if the state comes by, now you're having to rip it down and hire someone to rebuild it. You just wasted your money. A lot of contractors make sure they are licensed and insured because on a, especially on a second and third story deck, you have a lot of structural things that must be met to pass code. There's too many things that we have to take tests on to know these structural strengths for different heights of a deck, what size posts you must use, et cetera, et cetera. Keep all this in mind when choosing your contractor because it'll save you money in the long run.